<clears throat> Hi, how's it going, guys? This is Resident of Collinwood, and I'm here to do uh, my Dark Shadows from the Beginning Part 2 of the 1966 series. Um, I'm going to sort of pick up where I left off in my previous video, Part 1, if you've watched it. Um, go check it out. <clears throat> this, I'm going to start with several characters. Um, you have Sam Evans, who's Maggie's father. You have Bill Malloy, uh, Burke Devlin, Roger Collins, Victoria Winters, obviously. And I, uh, to give a previous mention, you know, this all started with Victoria and Burke coming to Collinsport. And what I'll say about their arrival, real quick, before I get further into this, is <clears throat> whether Victoria arrived in Collinsport or not, I think the biggest misconception is, and I haven't heard this too much, but Burke's arrival was going to happen no matter if Victoria came or not. Now, obviously, we know Victoria is coming more to find out about her past. She doesn't know what went on in Collins Porter or, or even Collinwood. Um, but Burke, who's from there, does. Uh, pretty Somewhat, from his standpoint. Um, he knows he was wrongfully convicted of manslaughter. And I want to touch upon that real quick before I continue. You know, Sam Evans, who has become this town... I've said this town drunk. He's a painter. And many people have foreseen this change throughout you know and the two most notable people i would say would be maggie evans who's sam evans daughter played by katherine lee scott um great performance by her and really bill malloy bill malloy does not get enough credit as a character simply because he doesn't last all that long in the series neither does matthew morgan but those two characters deserve a lot of credit because simply they were magnificent and <clears throat> Bill Malloy's character he reminds me a lot of Captain America I'm gonna make the Captain America you know where people are gonna say Burt Devlin is Captain America I strongly disagree with that in my opinion Bill Malloy is more Captain America he he stands for, well, more Superman. Truth, justice, in the American way. Um, and that's the thing. Bill Malloy wants to protect Elizabeth from Burke. He knows Burke is hell-bent on seemingly destroy the Collins family. But Bill Malloy is getting this reading from Burke. Going, Maybe you're not. And the reading is correct. Bill reads Burke very well. And Burke, there's three people Burke respected highly. Um, Elizabeth Stoddard is number one. Now, I know people might find that construed considering he wanted to destroy the Collins seemingly. Really, he more wanted to destroy and bring down Roger Collins more so than anyone else. Um, because he felt Roger wronged him and he was correct in that. And number two and three would be Bill Malloy right behind Elizabeth and I'd say Sam Evans. Sam Evans was respected by Burke until Burke realized man what is sam hiding he's hiding something from me here's a guy who i respected i used to pose for his paintings when i was a kid and now this this guy's giving me the cold shoulder and i think that's one of the best examples of a character reading another character burke was good at re trying to read characters and often he was he was pretty accurate um i would say the at times he he did have doubts because he had trust issues like Victoria and stuff, and even Carolyn. I feel he had no reason to distrust Carolyn, other than in his mind, she's a Collins, I can't trust her. And, really, you know, I'm going to give a huge shout out to, uh, at Mag1981, uh, link to his channel will be in the description box. Uh, he said something in our Dark Shadows discussion, I will never forget, and, it's like, how could you forget it? It wasn't that long ago. But I won't forget it. You know, when you find something out in Collinsport and you find out the truth of something, you're not going to last too long because you're as dead as a door now. And not just the way Collinsport was. It was a town 
of secrets and it was secrets that some people just shouldn't reveal or shouldn't know you know that's what I would say about Collins for it at times it was dangerous it was very very dangerous and life-threatening as at mag 1981 pointed out in our video to know a secret in the town of Collinsport and to find out one and who found out really the first secret none other than Bill Malloy um, what Bill Malloy did to find out is Burke didn't commit that manslaughter charge now who did I'm gonna tell you by that at the end of the video um, Bill Malloy prior to his death so many things happened um, Burke sets up a meeting with his lawyer and there's this, you know, dinner between the two. And Carolyn Stoddard follows Burke Devlin to uh, Bangor. Lo and behold, what Carolyn doesn't realize is Burke is trying to buy up the Collins estate. Um, because, again, you know, Liz put in a lot of her money into Roger buying Roger's stock. Um, so they're sort of hurting for money a little bit. Not a lot, but somewhat. And, you know, there's, bills are being paid at the minimum price. And so Burke's moving in because he wants so much revenge on Roger that he doesn't give a shit who he hurts to do it. Um, Carolyn's sort of naive to this, and she's sort of in love with him. He's not in love with her. And that's all I'll say about Burke and Carolyn. Carolyn loves Burke. Burke doesn't love it him back her back um and there's this special pen burke signs this contract with he actually this sly devil gives this special looking fountain pen to carolyn stoddard and carolyn stoddard takes it home with her and she's sort of admiring it roger collins you know gets furious at carolyn when he she he finds out where she got it from you know he plans on giving it back to Burke so he gets it off of Carolyn she gives it to him because uh, he's angry she doesn't want him mad at her and again he plans on giving it back to Burke well lo and behold in between all this time you have Bill Malloy who has set up a meeting between Sam Evans Roger Collins and Burke Devlin at Roger Collins office at the Collins family cannery and you have Burke who shows up Roger who shows up and Sam Evans who shows up now what you have here is Bill Malloy doesn't show up one night on Widow's Hill you have Carolyn and Victoria looking down and they begin screaming bloody murder and <laughs> Lo and behold, they have every reason to. There's a body down there. Um, there's some big whoop de woo about the where Matthew Morgan pushes the body back into the sea because he doesn't want another body seemingly found at Collins, Collinwood. That Collinwood caused another death, but Collinwood did cause another death in many ways, and so did Collins Port. Um, I can't totally put Bill Malloy's death on Burke. Or Matthew Morgan. Even though I'm going to give a little reveal right now. Matthew Morgan is the one who murders, in a sense, Bill Malloy. Um, Matthew kills Bill Malloy because he says he's going to expose Roger Collins. And, he, and Matthew Morgan says the conversation between him and Bill was, well, will this hurt Liz? Yeah, a little bit, but she'll get over it. And he could... Matthew, where Bill's concern for Liz was love and respect, Matthew's concern for Liz was pure psychotic obsession. So Matthew, who, in my opinion, does accidentally kill Bill Malloy, I don't think he does it on purpose. I really, really don't. Um, and... You know, in between that time, you have Burke pointing the finger at Sam and Roger. You have Roger pointing the finger at Sam. Sam's pointing it at Roger and Burke. Who killed this guy? And I gotta admit, they—they, they, 
I gotta applaud the storytellers. They made me bite hard. I honestly thought it was uh, Roger Collins. Um, the fountain pen. Roger had lost it out of his pocket, and this is why I think it was thought it was Roger. Right here, this is where they sold me. Victoria Winters finds this fountain pen at the bottom, along the beach of Widow's Hill. And that's where Bill Malloy's body was initially washed up. And the last person to have that pen was Roger Collins. You do hear Roger say he lost it. But by this time, you're so ready to disbelieve and throw Roger to the wolves, it's not even funny. Um, and I'll say, that's where Lewis Edmonds deserves the world credit of being the biggest character protagonist i'd say early i said this early protagonist um really hell of a job it's almost like really you're so ready to distrust not only burke but sam and or not burke but um sam and roger that you're rooting for burke at some level until Burke Devlin hatches a plan with Mrs. Johnson to be mean to everybody. And it's like, damn, you fucking son of a bitch. You can't even trust Victoria. And and that's just how credible Victoria Winters was as a character. Um, that's, you know, Alexander Isles, ladies and gentlemen. That woman had so much mystique on her, it wasn't even funny. Um, but, and I even trusted Carolyn. Carolyn, who had spouts of temperament, um... She could lie at times, but she wasn't to the point of distrusting, in my view. Um, so, you have Bill Malloy's death that is caused by Matthew Morgan. And what you have beautiful set up here by the end of, I think it's episode in the 40s, 46. You have Josette's ghost. And this ghost was done so goddamn well. Here's the sad part about this. The effects, well, the good part is the effects were good, done great for a 60s show. I got a little mad when I found this out. Catherine Lee Scott, who, who does Josette's ghost, the light, the appearance, that's, that's, who comes out of the painting and starts dancing around, is Catherine Lee Scott. So Catherine Lee Scott was always Josette's ghost. Um, and I love that. Kathleen Lee Scott does not get enough credit for being Josette's ghost. And here's the thing. In the, in the sequence, she is uncredited. She's not credited as Josette's ghost when they first do this. Um, which is amazing to me. And just frustrates the shit out of me. Um, but you could tell by that painting and by who comes out of it, it is Kathleen Lee Scott. I even said that. I said, that's Kathleen Lee Scott. You could tell it's her, even though you can't quite see her face. Just the way the body was, you could tell it was Catherine Lee Scott. Not that I was trying to stare at her body, but I was trying to figure out who it was they used. Because they did use an actual person. Um, and it was just a phenomenal job. Well, lo and behold, you know, you find out through Victoria being in a lot that... David locks Victoria in an empty room in the West Wing. And she sees Bill Malloy's ghost. Well, she tells everybody she saw Bill Malloy's ghost. Here's the thing. This sets off many people in motion. And the one person it seemingly irritates the most is Matthew Morgan. Because Matthew has this look, what did Bill tell you? And everybody sort of says that to her. So they do a good job of trying to like distract you of who the killer really was. Uh, you know, they even sh uh, throw some shade on Burke. Not much, just enough to throw you off the trail. Roger is more your prime suspect here. Trust me, he is. Even though he didn't do it, to me, <laughs> they swerved everybody so goddamn well in this beginning episode. Because I'm going, execute Roger. It's Roger, and no, they. They said, no, fuck you. It's Matthew Morgan. Uh, so well, the swerve. The swerve. But, um, great job by the storytellers, the swerve people. Um, and just a great job by the acting, the actors and the actresses. Uh, they just did their job so well. Um, 
especially in these beginning episodes. And, you know, you find out it's Matthew. When I first suspected Matthew Morgan is the old house, when convenient, you know, that's when I first realized, holy shit, it's Matthew, not Roger. Um, then she goes to Matthew Morgan's cottage. I'm thinking, oh, shit. You know, I, you, you sort of feel like an idiot, and I did uh, heavily feel like an idiot thinking it was Roger, even though they swerved. Like I said, they swerved you good. Um, and, you know, Liz, of all people to come to, I got to give Joan, Joan Bennett was amazing in this role of uh, Elizabeth Stoddard. She comes to Victoria's aid because Matthew Morgan, the only person he would listen to is Liz Stoddard, is Elizabeth. Um, he runs off later on. Again, we've seen Josette's ghost, right? Matthew Morgan kidnaps Victoria. Everyone thinks she went to Bangor for a date. Um, lo and behold, you find you know she didn't leave. And later they find out they find her suitcase. Really, holy shit, she never left. So now they have to search for Victoria. Uh, Burke, Roger... Of all the people to say Victoria, this is this to me. This is the episode where David makes the turn to semi good. David, if it weren't for David Collins, David Hensley's character, Victoria Winters would have been dead, and not just her. Um, but I gotta give huge credit to Josette's ghost. This to me is where Josette's ghost goes totally over, along with Bill Malloy's ghost. This performance here is where Josette's ghost goes over b b prior to the Phoenix arc. Um, and yeah, my part three is going to be the Phoenix arc. I'm not going to make this video too, too long. Uh, Bill Malloy gets scared to death by the Widows, of all things. Um, the And, you know, uh, Bill Malloy's ghost. But Josette's ghost is the cause of some of this, too. Um, so there's a lot of ghost play in the beginning episode, towards the end of the, you know, the first couple episodes, um, after the, and I really enjoyed the ghost play in Dark Shadows, especially in the beginning, you know, Josette, the Widows, uh, Bill Malloy's ghost, the ghosts were really well done, always in my viewpoint, in Dark Shadows, and the atmosphere helped to that. Um, Matthew Morgan's character dies seemingly of a heart attack, and it, it is, he's scared to death. Um, and that's where it goes from there to in the Phoenix arc. And I'm going to get into the Phoenix arc in my part three. Again, I want to give a shout out to Mag1981. Uh, link's going to be in the description box to his channel. Um, shout out to all, again, to all the Dark Shadows uh, fans out there. You guys are awesome. I really enjoy coming on here and talking about Dark Shadows. Listen, uh, let me know your thoughts on it on the beginning episodes. Um, let me know your thoughts on these characters. I love hearing from you guys immensely about these characters. I'm going to tag a bunch of people in this. They may not, uh, they may not respond to me on my comments, but I hope to hear from them on Twitter. Um, just Dark Shadows, the beginning episodes were as amazing prior to me prior to Barnabas. Um, I've always enjoyed the beginning episodes, and that's why I'm going back and do this. I do want people to know there was life before Barnabas Collins, in my view. Um, so, enjoy this video. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and hey, I'll see you guys for part three. I think I'm going to do part three next week, because, I, again, guys, I write, so have a good one.